Welcome to Fragrance Facts. My name is Marcus. I test and wear a whole bunch of different fragrances to tell you how they are. This review is on a release by Tiziana Terenzi. And this one is called Aretuza. It's a 2014 release classified as a fruity floral aquatic. It's composed by Paolo Terenzi. And this is an extrait de parfum concentration. I will give you a quick summary of this fragrance house. So Tiziana Terenzi is an Italian niche fragrance brand that also creates candles. The nose and composer of these scents is always Paolo Terenzi and he works alongside his sister Tiziana Terenzi. And to honor his sister and the family name, the fragrance brand is Tiziana Terenzi. Now this one is going to be more readily available online or on the internet on a discount or website. So that's how you'll be able to purchase this one. And if you're lucky and you live in Italy or some places in Europe, you might be able to find this one in some selected stores. So what are the main highlighted notes in Eretuza? So the first main dominating note to me is more a combination set of notes. And it's going to be that fig and coconut calon airy and breezy beachy smell vibe the second main highlighted note again is going to be a combination set of notes of florals so we're talking about the jasmine the orange blossom and the rose that's going to create this soapy clean sensation and then you're going to get a whole bunch of secondary notes and this fragrance is very well blended so it's hard to get all of them but in quick summary i would say that the next in line would be some sweetness that you get, let's say, in the top with the plum, in the mid with the pomegranate, and in the base with some honey. But the sweetness here is not overbearing or intense. It's just a pretty nice supporting cast. But it's mostly going to be an aquatic and soapy, clean vibe and a whole bunch of other notes integrated into this one. I will now discuss the three main fragrance stages of Eretuza to give you a better understanding of the smelling experience. So in the top, after the initial spray on your skin, you're going to get this bright citrus combo with the grapefruit and orange. You're going to get some spiciness from ginger, as well as a clean shower gel vibe from the herbal sage. You're going to get that fig and coconut twist combo that will give you this airy and breezy aquatic beachy scent as well as some fresh and clean soapy elements from that white jasmine floral and rose. And you're gonna get some far background sweetness from a touch of plum. When you're in the mid, you're going to get that spiciness, but this time it's going to come from the saffron. You're gonna get that fig and coconut twist combo that will again give you that airy and breezy aquatic beachy scent. That fresh, clean and soapy elements from the floral jasmine and rose is still there but you're going to have to add some additional soapy florals from the orange blossom. And in the far background, you're gonna get a bit of sweetness, but this time from pomegranate. When you're in the base, this is the part of the scent where there's the most change. So the overall DNA is still present, but you're gonna notice a bit more darker elements here. So you're gonna get this earthy vetiver with a tonka bean patchouli combo. And the tonka bean patchouli combo is gonna give it a chocolatey gourmand touch but this fragrance is not gourmet at all. You're gonna get some leathery and smoky aromas from the labdanum, as well as the note here of broom that will give this a floral sweet honey touch and the liquid ambar that will give this a woody and tobacco vibe. So the overall sensation of this fragrance is wrapped around from beginning all the way down into the end with that synthetic cologne molecule, as well as some salty touches it's going to give this a beachy vibe, a fresh, clean, breezy element that's always constant and present to your nose. A fantasy note that's in this fragrance is the note of sand. And guys, sand doesn't really smell much and it's hard to create the scent of smell. And in this fragrance, it's more of a mineral note that amplifies the cologne and the beachy sensation in here. That's the only way that the sand is used because if you're buying this just for the sand note, you're not gonna detect any sand smell at all. So to categorize the scent, it would be a mixture of a soapy laundry sheet air freshener beach DNA that of course would be amazing to wear at the beach or during a hot summer day. 
Let's discuss the performance of Veratusa. So it's over an arm's length projection at a moderately high level noticeable for the first two hours. And then from there, it would slowly get closer to the skin. It was a skin scent at seven hours. And I was able to detect this one on my skin all the way up to 20 hours. So from seven to 20 hours is a skin scent. In regards to the Siage Scent Whip Trail, it was a moderate cloud surrounding me as I'm going around. And then it would get low seemingly pretty quick. But I remember still getting whiffs of this one up to 10 hours. So I would say the performance is above average. And if you overspray, underspray, or spray on your clothes, you might get a bit more or a bit less performance. During my testings and wearings, I did get compliments for this one. So for me, I have success, guys, when I use these floral scents that are airy, breezy, fresh, clean with some sweetness. They just work and I get a lot of compliments from women. So this one wasn't an extreme compliment getter, but I would say I had ratings from 7.5 all the way up to 9 out of 10. And why not? That said 9 out of 10, thought this one was sexy on me. And the other ones, they would say that they would also enjoy to wear it themselves. So this one is very unisex. Anybody can get this one and wear it without a problem. It's not too girly at all, especially when you're in the base, which is the longest lasting part of the scent. There's enough dark elements here for a man to wear it. Other fragrances on the market, Eretuza resembles. So there's not many fragrances that are resembling this one. It's actually pretty unique. But the only one that I have and that I found that's a bit similar is going to be from Juice Box. And this one is called Feel and Chill. So this fragrance, there's some fragrance notes in this one that are used as well as in Eretuza. But it's just to give you an idea, that one is way less floral and it's more on the aquatic side of things compared to this one but the way that some notes are done will remind you of the way they're done in that one so hopefully this review gave you information to help you understand this fragrance better see you in the next one peace and lights out